Good morning children today we will learn about the house as you all know a house is a place where we live when you visit your friends relatives or neighbors do you find that they have the same type of houses as you have no people live in different houses houses can be of different shapes sizes and can also be made up of different materials So what are the materials used for building houses? Normally, houses are built using bricks, stone, cement, and steel. The windows and doors are generally made of wood. This type of house is very strong and is called a pakka house. Some houses are made up of mud, hay, bamboo, twigs, and leaves. This type of house is called hut or a kacha house. A kacha house can be made fast but it is not very strong. As the pakka house is strong, it can have many floors. Big cities have big buildings called apartments. There are many flats or houses in a single big building where many families can stay. Likewise, can a kacha house have many floors? No, because it is made up of straw, mud, bamboo etc it cannot take the loads of upper floors a kacha house is normally small in size and single floored now we will see the various types of houses what kind of houses are there in the plains that is low lying flat areas it can be of many types if we see the roof it can be flat it can also be slanting or sloping and is called sloping roof but do you know houses are made according to the climatic conditions of a particular place can we have house with flat roofs in the places of heavy snowfall no the snow gets collected on the roof top it will be very difficult to remove the snow hence the houses have sloping or slanting roof so that the snow can slide off easily What kind of houses should be there where it rains a lot? Firstly, we cannot have flat roofs as the rain water will collect and damage the house. So they should have sloping roofs. Secondly, if the house is on the ground, the water will enter the house and all the rooms will get filled with water. So, what can be done? How about raising the house? now the water won't be able to enter the house these houses are called houses on stilts hence in the areas where it rains a lot the houses are built on stilts and have sloping roofs the various pakka houses apartments bungalows and even kacha houses cannot be moved from one place to another and are called permanent houses Some people keep moving from one place to another either due to scarcity of food and water or due to extreme climate or due to work is it possible to carry their houses along with them if they live in permanent houses it won't be possible so they make temporary houses that can be moved from one place to another in villages generally people use bullock cart to make their temporary house while others use bus or van and turn it into their moving house these are called caravan do you know one more type of temporary or moving house is there instead of road it moves in water yes i am talking about a house boat as the name shows a house boat is a house built on a boat in india house boats are generally found in kashmir and kerala These have all the facilities which can be found in any house. Tourists in Kashmir and Kerala love to stay in this unique houses. Do you know there are another kind of lightweight and easy to carry temporary houses. So what are these? These are tents. These are lightweight as they are made of canvas or nylon fabric. These can be fixed to the ground anywhere. even mountain climbers carry the tents with them we talked about kacha and pakka houses flat and slope roofs 
house boats tents caravans but now we will talk about a very different kind of house it is built from blocks of hard snow doesn't it sound exciting it is called igloo this is a snow house and normally seen in arctic regions it is usually dome shaped people who live here are called eskimos it doesn't matter whether house is big or small kacha or pakka permanent or temporary the important thing is it gives us shelter and safety outside our house it may be extreme weather it may be hot or cold rainy or windy but if we are inside our house it doesn't matter the house protects us from all of these a house also protects us from thieves and animals we can keep all our things safely in a house but a house makes our life comfortable safe and healthy only when we follow certain basic rules would you like to live in a dark and damp place no never so let the sunlight enter your house through the windows sunlight not only brightens a house but it also kills germs in winters sunlight also keeps the house warm just like sunlight fresh air is also important so let the fresh air flow in through the windows this keeps the house cool and fresh in the winters we like to sit in the sunlight and in the summers we like the fresh breeze of morning and evening to enjoy fresh air and sunlight we can use veranda balconies and open courtyard as a sit out mosquitoes and house flies can make us sick we can keep a house free from mosquitoes and fly by fixing a wire mesh on the windows pests like mice and cockroaches can also spread diseases a good closed drainage system in the kitchen and the bathroom help to keep the pests away from the house like our rooms we should also keep the bathrooms and toilets clean they should be cleaned with disinfectant do you like a pile of garbage lying in your backyard or in front of your house no it not only looks dirty but can also spread many diseases we should throw garbage only in the dustbins the dustbin must be covered and emptied in a proper place in a clean house if you find a pile of books or newspapers or clothes or toys scattered and spread here and there would you like this mess no so keeping the house neat and tidy is as important as keeping it clean many of you have habit that when you reach home after school you throw your bag and shoes here and there water bottle in some other corner this is a very bad habit your shoes bag books clothes and toys should be not left lying around so after using things like toys books shoes remember to keep them back in their proper place to sum up houses are made of different materials some are kacha houses some are pakka houses houses are also made according to climatic conditions of a place places with average rainfall can have houses with flat roofs or sloping roofs places with snowfalls have houses with sloping roofs in areas where there is heavy rainfall houses are built on stilts with sloping roofs in very cold areas snow houses called igloos are made people on move prefer temporary houses that can be moved from one place to another for example house boats in water caravans on road and not to forget the very lightweight tents which can be fixed easily the houses may be of different types but all of them are used for shelter and safety that's all for now have fun and enjoy bye bye